Hello and thank you for joining me today for a review of the CAT UPS B220. A second 60 Hz release from Caterpillar of a double conversion UPS. The CAT UPS B220 has a native 480 volt design, a six pulse rectifier, IGBT inverter, an output isolation transformer, a low reactive current input filter, 100% rated static bypass, an internal maintenance bypass, and advanced battery monitoring. A closer look at the dimensions of the product, we find on the left that the UPS is 33 and a half inches deep, 47 and a half inches wide. I want to point out on the picture on the right, there are two vertical dimensions, 71.22 inches and 74.80 inches. This is the difference in how high you set the feet on the UPS, so you can adjust that height as needed. The rest of these uh, Data points are interesting. You can see the door latches, the air filters, the placement of the HDMI screen, the air exhausts on the top of the UPS as well. Let's take a look inside the UPS 220. Starting with the power connections, notice again the ample room at the bottom of the UPS for cable bends, etc. If we look to the top of the UPS through the miracles of video technology, we can remove the rectifier and look behind it and find the input filter. This is a low capacitive input filter, which protects against leading power factor. At 225 kVA, the THDI levels are reduced to less than 8%. Next, the six pulse rectifier charger converts AC to DC via six SCRs utilizing fully controlled rectification. The frequency of this model is 60 Hertz plus or minus 10%. If the frequency should drift out of tolerance, the charger will shut down. The charger is sized to recharge a battery, providing 30 minutes of backup time. The only constraint on the charger are related to the thermal characteristics of the three-phase inductors and the charger. DC rippled is held to less than 1% of the DC voltage RMS value. Just next to the rectifier is the inverter stage. It converts DC back to AC. The IGBT inverter operates at free frequency thus optimizing its efficiency. The UPS implements a triangle zigzag transformer for phase to neutral regulation and reduces the third order harmonic upstream of the transformer. Output voltage can be personalized plus or minus 5% using UPS tuner software from your dealer. One over from the inverter is the output static switch. The output static switch and the bypass static switch work together to assure the load is always powered. If there is ever a failure on the input, the static switch would provide a no brake transfer to the bypass, assuming, of course, the bypass is still within tolerance. Right in the center of the UPS is the bypass section, integral to UPS operation. The maximum voltage is 480 volt, plus or minus 15%. Transfer to bypass without interruption are possible, provided the bypass source is within plus or minus 10%, and the frequency remains within tolerance, which can be personalized when the unit is started up. The maintenance bypass shown here at the connection point at the bottom of the UPS. All the UPS B220s have an internal maintenance bypass. This is provided so the UPS can be maintained. In parallel systems, the maintenance bypass is located in the system cabinet. Let's talk a minute about battery cabinet options. Adjacent or remote cabinets are available. Adjacent cabinets have no sides for easy installation. Simply remove the side panel of the UPS and place it on the end of your battery UPS lineup. The battery cabinets come in three models, 300, 400, and 490 models. The optional top entry cabinet provides additional cabinet for routing cables. If top entry is, is required with additional options, such as maintenance bypass or transformer cabinet, this option will still be required in order to make those top connections. The adjacent maintenance bypass option provides a three circuit breaker option for external wraparound and bypass for the system. Electronic interlocks are used in combination with Kirk keys. The matching cabinet is 26 inches wide. A remote version of this avail is available as well through special order. Let's talk a minute about input isolation transformers. For applications that require isolation on the input of the UPS, in addition to the isolation already provided as standard on the output of the UPS B220, we offer this input isolation transformer option. The input isolation transformer option provides 480 volt isolation transformer on the input of the UPS. 
It's used to provide galvanic isolation on the input of the UPS for 480 volt input systems, including 480 in, 480 out, 480 in, 208 out, and 208 in and 208 out. Bottom entry or top entry is available. Parallel system bypass cabinet is available in three ratings, a 350 amp, 700 amp, and 1200 amp. This option provides two circuit breaker bypass cabinet for paralleling purposes. The cabinet can be used for paralleling for capacity or redundancy, but must not exceed the maximum output rating of the cabinet. The external sync box option provides for connections to synchronize the output of the UPS through the inverter to an external source or UPS. Typically one box is required per synchronized system. It provides for connections to, in the UPS to communicate with the external sync box for synchronizing to the external source or UPS and requires one board per UPS being synchronized. Interestingly enough, this sync box option can sync to other UPSs, gensets, or even the utility. The environmental sensor does exactly that. It senses the environment, and it's used to monitor and take regular measurements of temperature and humidity. The connection to the network management card enables monitoring or notification of alarms via a computer network. The remote summary alarm panel option provides for a panel with remote notification of summary alarms and UPS on battery. The panel also includes buttons for lamp tests and alarm resets. Of course, we can design a panel to meet your specific needs if other remote summaries are required. The remote status alarm panel option provides for a panel with alarm notifications of alarms with single or parallel UPS. The panel also includes buttons for lamp test and alarm reset. Taking a quick look at the UPSB220 interface, Following along with the numbers there, items one through five make up the UPS mimic panel. This will show you the power flow through the UPS. Number six is the buzzer, which produces an audible tone when the alert or notice is present. This can be reset by pressing number 21, the buzzer reset key. Buttons eight and nine turn the inverter on and off, hence transferring the load to and from bypass. Items 10 and 11 allow you to scroll through the display, while number 12 allows you to select an item on the screen. Button 13 pages you through the list of menus. Numbers 14 and 15 allow you to choose if you are looking at volts or amps, while 16 allows you to look at watts and frequency. 18 and 19 are the alarm and battery key. The network management card directly connects the UPS to a computer network, simultaneously operates as a web server and SMP agent. Remote connections are made using an ordinary internet browser or a network management system station and it provides email and text notification and comes standard in the UPSB 220. The JBus Modbus card provides UPS states and measurements in JBus or Modbus protocols. The JBus hexadecimal or Modbus RTU protocols are used in slave mode. The system provides a communication channel with an RS-485 or RS-232 interface. Thank you very much for joining me today and allowing us to take time to walk you through the UPSB 220. We're very excited about this product and look forward to hearing from you in the future. Thank you and have a great day.